Well, life is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Here's the thing about life. Life has its ups and downs. It has its mountains and valleys, its, its, its uh, it highs and lows, its ebbs and flows, its lightness and darkness, potato, potato, <laughs> tomato, tomato. It's all different, and life is very interesting. And, and right now, uh, you, you don't know this. I'll share a secret with you. Life is crazy for me. And uh, there's just a whole lot going on, you know. So uh, I, I, you look at it and I go, what, what's happening? And people have been saying to me, you know, Ellen, uh, that uh, Mercury is in retrograde. And I was like, <laughs> okay. And, uh, and when is it going to be over? And, um, and so they, uh, supposedly, I guess, retrograde is now, Mercury is out of retrograde. They, they tried to explain to me what it was, was that when you look at Mercury, it, it appears backwards, but it's not. And I said, okay, and uh, it didn't help me. I don't really understand, but there's a lot of things going on right now, and I, and I try not to understand, but I know that someday I always live my life like this too shall pass because life goes on, and you look back, and you go, someday I'm going to look back on this, this part of my life and laugh and laugh and laugh until and, I start crying again. And so... <laughs> Because really, I've gone through some tough times. I, got, I think the worst time of my life was about 10 years ago when I came out and I lost my sitcom and I, I didn't work for three years and it seemed like every magazine I picked up had something nasty to say about me and every time I turned on the TV, I was the butt of a joke. And it was just a horrible time and um, it, it's going to get to a funny part. And uh, <laughs> so... So it was just a hard time, and, and, uh, and I, w I was in therapy, and I was talking to my therapist saying, I don't understand, and I was just sobbing for like an hour straight, I was just sobbing in therapy, and she's like, you can't pay attention to stuff, you can't turn on the TV, you can't open a magazine, you just don't pay attention to anything. I was like, I know, I'm trying not to, but to just, just don't let it in, don't pay attention. I was like, okay, and so I leave therapy, and I've just been sobbing, you know that raw feeling when you've been crying so long, and your eyes are just... And, and I'm driving, and I just want to go home. I just want to go straight home so nobody sees me. And I, there's a yellow light, and I, I am thinking I'm going to go through the yellow light, and there's a cop car that stops for it. And I'm like, oh, I have to stop. So I stop at the yellow light, and the cop's next to me, and the window's down. And he looks at me and does a double take, and he goes, oh, hi. And I was like, hi. And I, it's just silence for a few seconds. And he goes, I just was reading something about you in a magazine the other day. <laughs> And I just had my head down, I was like, uh, and he goes, what was that? It was like, people or us or, and I was like, I don't know. And he goes, oh, I don't know, but they were making fun of your shirt. Have a nice day. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, really? That? And then the light turns green right then. I had to stay there long enough to hear that little story. And I thought, well, you know what? I was supposed to stop. I was supposed to have an interaction with that, that policeman. I was supposed to hear that they were making fun of my shirt. And, and sure enough, I checked in that magazine. It was a bad shirt. It really was. <laughs> So he was right, and if you're watching the officer whoever told me that 10 years ago, I look back now and I think it's a hilarious story, and in honor of that bad shirt, I dedicate this dance.